Hi, my little Yeeties. Yeetie because Boy VR here. Today, we're going to be rating the top 10 web VR games from worst to best. Uh, so, I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. So, uh, first we got this box game. I don't know what I was doing. It didn't tell me any instructions. I just had a box in my hand, and I didn't know where to bring it. I literally clicked everywhere, and I couldn't find a flipping like, box. There was no tutorial or instructions. It just brought me into it with no explanation so that's why i'm gonna rate it number 10 uh because it was literally unplayable so yeah if this game added instructions then it would have made sense but as you see i was just adding and placing boxes because i had no idea what to do next we have like this like duck game they have to like shoot the ducks i think i don't even know how to play this it didn't tell me how to play. I was spamming buttons to try and shoot. But I didn't know how to. So this game was also unplayable. As you saw then, I just shot. But I didn't know how I did. I was spamming controls trying to shoot them. I didn't know how I shot it then. But honestly, I, oh, I don't know anymore, to be honest. I was trying to shoot them. I literally clicked every controls, but it didn't work. So this game was also unplayable. So yeah. Uh, I rate this 9 out of 10. Alright, so next we have VR Pong. So I did enjoy this game, uh, except from the corner bits. You can't really hit the corner bits because you have to tilt your head. And it's pretty hard to do that. Uh, I don't know if that was enough of control or how I was just messing up. But yeah, uh, so I couldn't really hit the corners. So I give this number 8 on the list. Right, next we have a bow training game. So basically, what it says is just bow training. Uh, and you shoot, and you have to shoot these targets, and what part you shoot depends on your score. Okay, so, um, so I actually, this is like the first playable game on the list. So I rate number seven. It just gets boring after a while, and the physics aren't that good, and the controls are a bit weird. But it's the first playable game on the list, so I rate it a 7. Alright, so next we have this, like, space game. Um, it's kind of like Space Invaders. Basically, you have to, like, hit these. I, I swear, it is a good game, but you just have to hit them multiple times, and the gun doesn't have good aim. Um, and also, it's annoying hearing this all the time. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm rating it number six. So next, there's a game called Avoid the Dark. Um, you can search it up on YouTube and you can see loads of videos about it. I'm not showing it right now because there's flashing images in it. It's like, really, it just flashes every, like, every four seconds. So, yeah, I just want to tell you that. Um, I actually find it pretty entertaining, like, a dodging buildings a really good idea it's just yeah i give it number five because there was no difficulties it just gets boring up here well next we have this whack-a-mole game uh you just whack moles yeah that's all i can explain pretty pretty fun so yeah okay so here's flappy bird vr a classic um basically yeah it's just flappy bird i really enjoy it it's pretty immersive um you go around in a loop but you know like while while i'm waiting for a video to upload this is really entertaining you know i play this most of the time in my spare time it's you know pretty fun to just go around sorry about that i cut off then yeah but it's pretty fun to just go around the map uh but there is one glitch that i'm just you know concerned about to just tell the like creators of the game there is this one bug where you can do this and go out the skybox. Yeah, basically you just fly up to the skybox. That's the only issue with this game. Woo! I'll take it on the number two spot. We have a rover run. I don't know why I did that woohoo. But basically, what you do is you just collect these oxygen bottles, and I find it really entertaining, to be honest. 
Uh, some people have a different opinion, but to be honest, I find this pretty fun. Well, I just want to hang out and see how many oxygen bottles I can collect before, like, you know, the end of the time. Um, so I find this pretty entertaining, and I use it a lot. So this takes the number two spot. Um, although one game is better than Rover Run, and that is. Yes, you're seeing it right. Spider Man in Web VR. Now, this is an amazing game. I play it during Google Drive and just freely when I don't want to play Rec Room. This is probably better than Rec Room, to be honest. There's just. I know there's only like campaign or story, but for, like, for this, just free roaming, I love this. The, 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 the physics are great. Who cares about the graphics? Like, it's a Web VR game. Look, just look at this, just amazing free roam. A Spider-Man is just great. Um, yeah, so that's my list. As VR me said, this, uh, that was my list. Um, of course, people have other opinions, all right? You don't have to go against my opinion. That was my list. I'm now going to be posting weekly, so expect that. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.